Hey there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of the 28th. If this one really isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are a cross-watcher, meaning that you are involved with a cancer, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or they could be flip-flopped. Just go ahead and interpret this reading as it makes sense to you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. I also have a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube. It's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. Uh, if you would like uh, a more intense reading or if you have a complex situation, I have a 10 question $75 reading. If you want to win that pendant, all the instructions are down below in the description box. Uh, you are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person, then I'll clarify everything in real time. You should also know that there is someone impersonating me on Instagram. I will never ever reach out and ask if you want a reading. If you want one from me, you have to ask. So I think you're in separation from this person. We've got the Four of Swords, which is kind of a break card, not necessarily a breakup. Five of Pentacles here, feeling a sense of loss, of lack, being left in the cold, missing someone, feeling like you don't have resources. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. It's possible that you're dealing with a Virgo. But it is also like withdrawing from someone. I think you're in silence with this person. You aren't communicating. You're having a bit of a break here. It's interesting because we have mirror, which is mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. We have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. So I think they're missing you. You're missing them. I think you're mirroring each other. You're both quiet right now. And we've got a heartbreak here with the three of swords. That is a breakup. It's sadness. It's heartbreak, heartache, disappointment. We have heart with the key, welcoming, love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. I think you would both like to be with each other. I think you both like to talk to each other. I think you both have feelings here. But we also have the moon, and that's the problem. It's Cancer and Pisces energy, so that's one of your major arcana. But that's also a card about fear. It's anxiety, sleepless. Like, it's being worried. It's secrets, things that are hidden. So I think there may be some fear. I don't know if it's fear of commitment or fear of opening up or fear of being vulnerable. I don't know. There's fear here. Let's go ahead, and we will check out their energy and then we'll clarify everything that comes out. Okay, Cancer. So we've got the Fool here in reverse, Aries energy. The Fool in reverse can be feeling foolish, doing something foolish. It's lacking courage. Uh, the Fool is like you're taking a risk. You're taking a leap. Again, it kind of speaks of fear here. We've got the Everything is Fine card, Ten of Swords, feeling hurt, feeling stabbed in the back, a painful ending with someone, and the Eight of Swords, which is self-limiting and self-sabotage behavior. I get like there's no movement here. There's nothing moving forward. And there's a lot of anxiety and fear, but there's a lot of love too. You have the lovers, Gemini energy, feeling like someone is a soulmate, um, feeling an intense connection between the two of you. Page of Cups in reverse is blocked communication. This is also Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Could mean that you're dealing with a younger water sign as well. But it's also a desire to talk, but not maybe not wanting to put yourself out there. Or put you know This person doesn't want to put themselves out here to do that. The Seven of Cups is confusion. It's also illusions or delusions. Maybe not seeing the situation very clearly. I just think that... The fear is interfering here. It's getting in the way because um, there is emotion on both sides of the situation. If this is your reading, you still have feelings for this person and they still have feelings for you. So 
So what's going on with your person, Cancer? What's going on here? All right. We've got the Ten of Wands. That's a popular card this morning. It's emotional burdens. It's being weighed down. We have the Ten of Cups. So were you in a commitment with this person? Did they offer you a commitment? They may feel like you are their wish fulfillment or they wish that they could offer you a commitment or they see themselves like the lovers in the Ten of Cups is pretty intense energy. I feel like you're both in love with each other. So what's the issue here? Okay. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. That's a desire to fix this or plant seeds for the future here. It's almost like you both can't get out of your own way. Or this person can't get out of their own way. Maybe that's that self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. Or they feel stuck and like tied and bound to you, like they can't move forward. Ooh. Or this person is in a commitment with someone else. That's not for everybody, but that could be for somebody. What's going on with Cancer's person? Okay, they miss the hell out of you, the Five of Pentacles. They feel like, I don't know, I always think of this as like, you're on the streets and you're looking in at people like being warm and safe and happy. I just, I feel alone. I feel like a lone wolf here. The Magician, this is Gemini energy, also Aquarius. It's being intentional. I think they're trying to get up their nerve to approach you. That's what I sort of feel like. They're, they're just figuring out, like, how do I overcome my fear? The magician is being very intentional. It's taking action towards something. It's just like they feel, I don't know, like it scares the hell out of them. All right, what's going on here, Cancer? They feel like you would reject them. But you won't. You've got feelings for them. Okay. We have the hanged one, Pisces energy. This could be a Pisces. This is also about feeling stuck. The hanged one can sometimes mean like I'm chilling here. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of taking a minute. The hanged one is also about a change of perspective. You see the, the planet that we're on is, well, it's not a planet, but it's a moon that we're on and we're looking at the earth. So they're seeing you differently or they're seeing this relationship differently or maybe they're seeing themselves and their actions differently. There's an energy shift coming here. All right. In the extended, I want to do this person's feelings, their intentions, the actions, um, some advice for you. If you want to order your own reading, you can find that down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.